in Good Health, brought to you by McLaren Northern Michigan. The spine itself has a certain architecture and design to it that allows a patient to be evenly balanced. 24 vertebral bodies, 23 discs in the normal adult, and 31 paired spinal nerves that typically exit most adults. My name is Justin Thomas, and I'm a neurosurgeon at McLaren Northern Michigan. In a number of patients, whether they've either had prior surgery or just naturally de novo, their spine may lose that structure or normal alignment. And eventually they may develop such severe malalignment, uh, whether it's from prior surgery or from a trauma or accident or just other medical conditions, where their alignment may start to really make them suffer if it becomes poor. And so spine deformity is essentially the study of deformity of the spine where we're able to offer surgical treatments to restore somewhat normal architecture of the spine that allows a patient to improve their quality of life. Most often, a patient who has spine deformity typically presents with pain. And that pain is usually in the form of either neck pain, back pain, mid thoracic back pain, low back pain. Pain that is often chronic, that they have exhausted all of their conservative options be it physical therapy, epidural injections, shots, steroids, all of the non-surgical treatments. And a number of patients also have already had spine surgery and they develop diseases above or below that area of the spine that may alter the natural or ideal architecture of the normal spine. So they develop deformity and what happens is, is that they present with persistent pain. Often sometimes too, they'll present with poor posture. Um, and the posture is in the form of where they're constantly either tilting forward or back. And because they're constantly tilting forward, it forces them to recruit their muscles in their legs and in their hips to try to alleviate some of the pain. Unfortunately, eventually your muscles can only hold that for so long and you overcome your muscles and the patients either need to rest or can't work or find that their quality of life is being affected by the pain that is occurring as a result of some degree of deformity of their spine. A neurosurgical provider would diagnose spinal deformity by using a combination of specialized x-rays that look at the whole spine in addition to our other modalities that we image the spine with CAT scan and MRI. Um, and then we look at the whole picture uh, together and we look to see how is the normal alignment in a patient who's standing change when they're upright versus supine or flat. But really the big thing is, is that we look at a number of modalities and we put all that information together and then we'll offer surgical treatments if needed if they've exhausted all of their conservative options. Our ultimate goal with spine surgery, whether it's addressing a small herniated disc or treatment a big spine deformity is that we want to get our patients through the surgery uh, in a safe manner that allows them to return to a higher level quality of life and also live more pain-free. For more information or to schedule an appointment, go to mclaren.org northern or call 800-248-6777.